In a historic judgment, the Supreme Court has cleared all hurdles paving the way to resume coal mining in Meghalaya under the relevant statutory framework of the Mines and Minerals Development and Regulation Act of 1957. The development came after the Konrad Sangma-led Meghalaya government filed two civil appeals before the Apex Court since the National Green Tribunal imposed a ban on coal mining in 2014. This was informed by Fiosa Yobin, who is the Council for State Coordination Committee of Coal Owners, Miners and Dealers Forum. Yobin said that mine owners will now be required to get their mining plan approved by the center with the consent of the state government. Supreme Court held that the MMDR Act will apply. Mine owners are required to get a mining plan approved by the central government with consent of the state government. And the ban on coal mining by the NGT is lifted to the above extent. Uh, there is no ban. Uh, there's no ban by NGT if MMDR Act is followed. Uh, this is what the uh, Supreme Court has observed also. It is a first in Meghalaya's history. The Apex Court has acknowledged the unique position of tribals besides affirming the rights of the tribals over the land and minerals therein. The most important thing is that the Supreme Court has confirmed that in Meghalaya, the land belongs to the tribal in the schedule area and also the minerals underneath belongs to the tribals. This has been confirmed, affirmed by the Supreme Court. Fiosa Yobin also disclosed that the Supreme Court has directed that the Coal India Limited take over the extracted coal and auction it off. The fund acquired after the auction would be handed over to the state government and the mine owners that the old coal should be taken over by Coal India uh, and the permission to uh, and the permission is granted to the Coal India to auction the same as it decides and the money shall be given to the state government and the manner and the mood of transportation will be decided by Katoki committee and the money so collected will be given to the state of the uh, state of mine owner. With regard to the penalty of rupees 100 crore NGD fine on the Meghalaya government, the amount would be handed over to the Central Pollution Control Board, which will use it for different environmental purposes in the state itself. With regard to the penalty, the penalty of rupees 100 crore will cause hardship to the state government, and therefore, the state should transfer rupees 100 crore from MPREF to Central. Pollution Control Board, CPCB, sh shall use the money for Meghalaya only. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court judgment has come as a high sign of relief for the coal mine owners, dealers and exporters who were quite happy after the development. Simple fact that it has uh, affected very seriously for us for the last five years with uh, no remedial measure whatsoever was either provided by the government or any sources in today's judgment which been held at New Delhi. Uh, we have been informed by our learned council that uh, the ban has been lifted and then we feel relief because we have been fighting for this long legal issue for the last five years. But, but we are relieved and we are happy of this and we also express our sincere appreciation to the Honourable Court for giving us this uh, favourable judgment and express our gratitude to the court for this judgment and we are waiting for the further orders so that we can un understand and carry on our work forward. However, apprehensions are that resumption of coal mining would bolster the illegal coal mining and trading rackets operating in Assam besides Arunachal Pradesh. With inputs from Roshan Rai, this is Karishmita Saikia for Northeast Live.